from the man who created some of your fondest childhood memories, then took a huge dump on him, comes the prequel sequel that proved Phantom Menace wasn't an accident. This isn't how it's supposed to be. Star Wars, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Once again, the Republic is in turmoil. Watch as the chin-stroking Jedi are pulled into a war between a completely disposable droid army and a completely disposable clone army. Seriously, there's no reason to get emotionally involved in any of this crap. Experience an awkward forced love story as soulless as the computer it was made in. With so many visual effects, the filmmakers didn't have any time left over for things like realistic choreography, realistic dialogue, I'm haunted by the kiss that you should never have given me. Or realistic Hayden Christensen acting. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. And it gets everywhere. Not like here. Come on, JJ. There is no way you can do any worse than this. Natalie Portman and her space hair return as Senator Padme Amidala when two of the galaxy's best sharpshooting assassins try to kill her with a poisonous worm-pooping robot. Two Jedi warriors will come to her aid, Obi-Wan Kenobi, a man forced to act opposite lifeless CGI characters like Hayden Christensen, and Anakin Skywalker, a rat-tailed asshole who's been creepily stalking Padme for the last decade. I've thought about her every day since we've parted. I don't think she liked me watching her. I'd much rather dream about Padme. You're exactly the way I remember you in my dreams. Please don't look at me like that. Why not? It makes me feel uncomfortable. Sorry, milady. Ugh. Ride along with these one-dimensional heroes in a movie so unevenly paced, you'll have to wait over an hour before you even meet the main villain. Instead, strap yourself in for even more of the stuff that made Phantom Menace so cold, lifeless, and boring, like people sitting and talking, standing and talking, walking and talking, one person standing and talking while another is sitting and talking, people standing and talking then taking a seat for more talking, and a whole bunch of wipes. Starring Hey Don't Act Again, You in a Bad Movie, Yogurt, M. Bison, Nipley Portman, Lawrence Fishburne, Definitely Not the Emperor, Dickhead, Cthulhu, Darth Saruman, and Django Unbrained. Star Wars Episode 11, Attack of the Clones. So correct me if I'm wrong here, but the clones never actually attack anyone in this movie. So why the f would you call this movie Attack of the Clones? Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Now this is Pod Racing. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy. You never pick my comments. Waffle Falafel, do you even lift? That's number Wang.